voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. No, your eyes do not deceive you. I am making a feminist video on not on a Friday. This is not going to be part of the common arguments against feminism. This is pretty much your common video that you see on your basic common feminist video that you see on the internet. And surprisingly, this guy has received a lot of likes. So either A, people didn't watch his videos and just, just applaud him for not even bothering to look at his flaws, or B, they're just dumb fanboys. Either way, this is basically just another one of your typical you need feminism bullshit videos. <sighs> okay, let's see what this guy has to Hey, so usually my videos give advice or are comedic or something, but uh, this week's going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be talking about something that I think is really important, and that's feminism. So this is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, because I think that there's a lot of people that are really misinformed on the subject. Son, you wouldn't know what misinformed is if it was to slap you right across in the face. I'm afraid it's not us that is misinformed. It's you. And uh, recently this girl Claudia put out a video called Tumblr Feminism and I figured now's a better time than ever to put in my two cents. So I'll put a link to her video in the description, but essentially what she's saying is that feminism is widely hated by a lot of men. Tumblr specifically because the demographic on the website is not a male majority, which, you know, I totally get. But I think that there's also a lot that she didn't say, such as the fact that there are women against feminism. I assume for a lot of them it's because they don't really understand exactly what feminism is, which I think is also the case with a lot of guys. No, 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 no. That is not the case. Most people who oppose feminism understands what feminism is trying to achieve. And it fails. It fails at a massive grand scale. I've been on YouTube for a long ass time and clearly you're just a rookie by comparison. I will tell you this right now, feminism is not about equality, especially when we see the actions made by today's feminists. We seen the I seen the words that these feminists produce. And all these all the common arguments that I've seen on the internet from feminists, whatever it's the wage gap argument, or this argument in particular, you, you know, this is the most commonly made arguments that I've seen from feminists, that we just don't understand what feminism is. In reality, we do understand what feminism is. But it fails. It fails at a massive grand scale. I wouldn't be all that surprised if you pulled the wage gap argument out of your ass. I'm being that serious. If you pull the wage gap argument, all I'm gonna do is do a massive face palm. There are self-proclaimed feminists who hate men, which goes against what feminism is about. And there are men who are feminists, and I consider myself to be one. So what is feminism? One of my biggest influences in high school was my English teacher, who I'd say taught me the meaning of feminism. He said that as long as you think that everyone deserves the same rights and to be treated fairly and with respect, then you're a feminist. That's it. Well, your English teacher is an idiot, and so are you for believing in such stupidity. Also, this is one of the most commonly made arguments that's been made by feminism, I mean feminist, that because you support equality, therefore you are a feminist. I have dealt with this argument so many fucking times, and I'm also not so friggin' surprised that you actually said such stupidity. So I will try my very best to explain to you on why that failed. Nudism. Humanism. Equalism. Masculism. Just to name a few groups of people that are fighting for equality. You can look up in the dictionary and you can find a definition of humanism. Humanism is, you know, by definition, fighting for equality. 
And yet you're not calling yourself a humanist, nor is your English teacher. Why aren't you calling yourself a humanist? What's wrong with humanism? See what I did there? And also, equality doesn't mean feminism. Just because you believe in equality doesn't mean that you are a feminist by, you know, automatically. If we were to use that logic, say that you don't believe in God, then by definition, you're a Satanist. I know you're thinking to yourself that a Satanist is someone who believes in the devil, but you're wrong. If you actually study a little bit, Satanists do not worship God or the devil. They uh, believe in the flesh and blood. They're more, they're slightly more religious than atheists. So by definition, you are a Satanist because you do not believe in a God. You see what I just did there? In other words, feminism may be equal, you know, might mean equality, but equality does not mean feminism. Because there are a lot of cases in which women make less money or treated worse and just generally taken less seriously than men. And that's just what I've seen in Canada. Oh, fuck you. The wage gap argument, debunked. Women being treated worse because of their gender, debunked. What you just said could be easily debunked. They all have been debunked. Let alone some countries where the laws are just cruel to women. Guess what? Feminism is not the answer. Claudia split up feminism into a ton of groups, like queer feminism, trans feminism, fat feminism, etc. But they all share one common goal. Equality. Being queer, trans, or overweight doesn't personally affect anyone else but you. So, of course it shouldn't be an issue. You deserve equality. Yes, we all deserve equality. However, like I said before, feminism is not the answer. I am a cisgendered heterosexual male, and as one, I don't give a shit if you do things that aren't sexy. I don't care if you don't shave, and I don't care if you don't do things that are generally considered to be girly. Because as long as you're not hurting anybody else, you should have the right to do whatever you want. So what if there are things that I don't find attractive? Nobody's got to change for anyone else's preferences, and I just don't think that's been said enough. As for all of the heterosexual cisgender guys who are still against feminism, let me tell you how you benefit. You wouldn't have to pay for all your dates because the two of you just like each other and there wouldn't be any dumb gender roles that just demand that you have to. Oh, what sweet fucking irony. Women paying for the bills? <laughs> how many women are actually willing to do that? Exactly. How, how many? Huh? Uh, please, I explain. Um... Because last time I checked, there's not that many women that are willing to do that. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sh goddamn sure that almost no feminist is willing to pay for the bills. I'm being dead fucking serious. Yeah, they want to be treated, you know, they want to be equal. But they're not willing to pay for the bills. You could learn to cook, clean up after yourself, or do your laundry without being called gay or a girl. Which, let's be real here, those are some pretty essential life skills that your mom's not going to do for you your whole life. And girls aren't going to stop being sexualized, it's just going to happen to the girls that want to be sexualized, in the same way that guys can be sexualized. If anything, you'll be having more sex, because no one's going to be repressing women and making them feel bad for having sex, the way that currently our society is telling them that they should. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Uh, if you disagree, if you have a, an alternative opinion, let me know in the comments, because I'm interested in hearing what you have to say. To my subscribers, I'm sorry this video wasn't funny. Um, I'll have something more comedic next week. But this is something that I just really wanted to talk about. And to everybody who is seeing me for the first time, hi, uh, I'm Andrew. I make usually comedic videos uh, every week. And so you can subscribe if that's what you're into. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Tumblr, uh, the links will be in the description below. And that's all I have to say. So thanks for your time and I'll see you next week.